Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This is a video series on completing the square. It's a technique in algebra where, um, and a tool that you can use to be able to put equations in certain forms, especially if you're trying to graph a function. Um, right now we're gonna be talking about parabola equations. Now, completing the square involves figuring out the third term of a perfect square trinomial. And the rule is that it's, you'd look at the middle term, take half of it, and you square it. All right, I did this before in a previous video, and basically if you just remember that part in the green, that's, you're going to be good to go. You take half of the middle term and square it. Now let's start with the equation of a parabola. This is the vertex form. Now uh, y equals a, a is a multiplier there and out in front. Sometimes it's a 1 and doesn't exist, sometimes it's um, some other number. And x minus h quantity squared. Now this part right here is the result of being able to complete the square. Because if you can create a perfect square trinomial, you can write it in factored form like this. So that's the goal right there. Because this vertex form of a parabola involves a squared x group like that, you have to be able to complete the square. And then when you can write it in the vertex form, remember that the h and the k values right here form the um, vertex location. So that's the important part of being able to write e in the equation in vertex form for a parabola. All right, let's try a few examples. The very first step is to... All right, I'm going to work the first one through with you, and then I want you to try number two when we're ready. Now the idea is to see if we can factor out a, a GCF, a greatest common factor, for the first two terms only, okay, the x terms. Turns out that we can factor out a 19, and that will give me 19 on the outside times x squared plus 2x. Now I'm going to leave a space here because we need a third term that's completing the square, and we put this 28 outside of that, okay, we just leave it alone for right now. Now to complete the square, I look at the 2x, take half of the coefficient, that's 1, and square it. Okay, Half squared, that's all you need to remember. Now to make sure that I do this in a balanced way, because it's an equation, remember that this 19 is being multiplied by the 1 there. So really, I added 19 okay, in the entire equation. And to balance it out, then I need to subtract 19. Okay, They need to be opposites. All right, let's keep going. I factor out my perfect square trinomial, which would be x plus 1, quantity squared, and now, of course, I do the math over here to get 9. And because the vertex form formula for the uh, parabola has a subtraction inside here, we have to think of this as x take away negative 1. So the vertex is going to be at negative 1, positive 9. All right, that's what we get from that. And we could graph this if we wanted to. All right, number two, try that and give it a shot. All right, you can see the answer in red, and now let me show you how to get that. You look at just the two x terms and see if there's a GCF. In this case, it's a two. So factor out a two and get x squared plus six x. Okay, leave room for that third term and separate out the 27 and just kind of push it off to the side. All right, let's complete the square inside here. Half of the 6 is 3, but you square it to add 9. All right, now remember, I didn't just add 9, I added 18 because of that multiplication there, right? So if I add 18 on that side of the equation, make sure you subtract 18 over here has to be opposites. And as you can see, we have to factor out the perfect square trinomial with an x plus 3. 
So again, um, that will tell you your vertex. It would be negative 3, 9. And we could graph it if asked to. All right, that's completing the square in a parabola equation. Now I'm going to give you a few more to try in a problem set in the next video. So thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.